Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Nearly two thirds of individuals with bipolar disorder have been misdiagnosed at some point in their lives. Perhaps even more troubling is that it takes an average of 10 years from the time a person experiences their first bipolar mood episode until they receive bipolar disorder treatment. This treatment gap is the result of widespread misunderstandings about bipolar disorder and how it shows in episodes, as well as a general aversion to discussing this persistent psychological disorder, especially when symptoms are present in a young person. Before we take a look at the differences between BPD and bipolar disorder, let's take a moment to understand what these terms mean. What is bipolar disorder? According to APA, bipolar disorder is a group of mood disorders in which symptoms of mania and depression alternate. In the DSM-5-TR and the DSM-5, the group includes primarily the following subtypes. Bipolar 1 disorder, in which someone fluctuates between episodes of mania or hypomania and major depressive episodes or experience a mix of these, and bipolar 2 disorder, in which the individual fluctuates between major depressive and hypomanic episodes and cyclothymic disorder. What is borderline personality disorder, or BPD? Borderline personality disorder is defined as a personality disorder characterized by a long-standing pattern of instability in mood, interpersonal relationships, and self-image that is severe enough to cause extreme distress or interfere with social and occupational functioning. Among the manifestations of this disorder are self-damaging behavior like gambling, overeating, and substance use, intense or unstable relationships, uncontrollable temper outbursts, uncertainty about self-image, gender, goals, and loyalties, shifting, self-defeating behavior like fights, suicidal gestures, or chronic feelings of emptiness and boredom. In summary, BPD is a type of personality disorder that causes people to feel, think, relate, and behave differently than people without the condition. Bipolar disorder is a type of mood disorder, which is a category of illnesses that can cause severe mood changes quality and degree. The first major distinction is that bipolar disorder is a primary mood disorder, whereas borderline is a primary personality disorder marked by long-term interpersonal dysfunction. As a result, bipolar disorder shows up in mood episodes with intervals of balance in between, referred to as the baseline mood zone. As a result, the symptoms of bipolar disorder are defined as episodic. In contrast, Borderline personality disorder is when the condition's symptoms persist across mood states. As a bipolar type baseline mood zone, people with borderline personality disorder appear to be pleasant, calm, or collected. Regardless of emotional state, borderline personality is frequently defined by an ongoing entangled and chaotic jumble of interpersonal connections and self-image. Differences in treatment approach. To keep their condition under control, most people with bipolar disorder require lifetime treatment. This frequently involves medications such as mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, and antidepressants. People with bipolar disorder can benefit from therapy to better understand their condition and build coping strategies. People with borderline personality disorder frequently require long-term treatment. Specific types of psychotherapy are used to help people manage impulses, feelings of distress or anger, and emotional oversensitivity to social interactions. Medications are occasionally used to aid with these symptoms, but they aren't always helpful and aren't the primary focus of treatment for borderline personality disorder. Short hospital stays are sometimes necessary to manage times of crisis that pose a threat to one's safety and well-being. Causes of the symptoms. Mood shifts in BPD are typically triggered by an environmental stressor, such as a disagreement with a loved one. Mood shifts in bipolar disorder may occur out of the blue without any triggers. Sleep cycles. During periods of mania and depression, people with bipolar disorder have severely disrupted sleep cycles. People with BPD usually tend to have a regular sleep cycle. Risk factors. The link between bipolar disorder and genetics is still a mystery. Bipolar disorder is more common in people who have a parent or sibling with the illness than in the general population. However, most people who have a close relative with the disorder will not develop it. Borderline personality disorder is genetic and can be passed from one person to another within a family. Research suggests that people with BPD are five times more likely to have a close family member with the disorder, such as a sibling or parent. So, did you find yourself relating to any of the things we've mentioned here? If you or anyone you know is seriously struggling with your mental and emotional well-being, please seek help and talk to a mental health care professional today. Getting in touch with the right person can be a great first step to getting back on track. 
What are some things you've learned? What's something you wish to learn more about? And what's been your experience? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.